Hey, I'm Alana. I'm your new next door neighbor. So, what's your name? It's so nice to meet you. I even brought some cookies. Chocolate chip. Everyone loves chocolate chip, right? Uh, do you mind if I come in? Thanks. Oh, and no need to be shy with me, honey. I promise. Ooh, your kitchen is so nice. Mind if I have a seat here? Thank you. Why don't you sit across from me? There we go. Now we can look at each other while we talk. Ah, uh, it's fine. I know I like talking. I can do enough for the both of us. Just in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being introverted. It's a personality trait. Yeah, some people might shame you for being quiet, but you don't have to worry about me doing that. Worst I might do is tease you a little. And trust me, it's totally good-natured if I do. Just let me know if I cross the line, though. Okay? Good. Also, stop me if I'm talking over you and you have something to say. You won't hurt my feelings. Besides, I would rather hear what you want to tell me than to listen to the sound of my own voice. Yay. So, what brings you to these parts? Really? That's cool. I've lived here all my life. So, I guess I've just been too lazy to leave. <laughs> yeah, but there's a bright side to it, you know? Yeah. I've got a job I like. I know a lot of people here. I've got a nice group of friends here, too. So, yeah. Yep, they're great. There's four of us. Me, Chris, Aiden, and Joy. Mm-hmm. So, you know anyone around here? Well, I... Going somewhere with this, hun. I'm sure they would love to meet you. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you don't have to meet them all at once if you think that would be overwhelming. Totally understand. Mm-hmm. So, Cookie, I made them myself. I didn't even burn them. Much. Ahem. So, anyway, want some? Yay. I hope you like them. And you don't have to lie to me if you don't. I know I'm no Julia child or anything. <laughs> Is it at least... Tolerable. Oh, good. I was honestly a little worried. Oh, yeah. At least I now know that I didn't switch the salt and the sugar. Again. <laughs> yeah. Classic me. Unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't be the worst little faux pas I've committed. It happened at a church potluck. I was supposed to put pepper in the casserole. Cinnamon is not an acceptable alternative. Pandemonium ensued. Or at least that was how it felt at the time. I'll never forget the things I saw that day. So, anyway, now you know my most embarrassing moment, just in case you were wondering what it was. So, I guess we're practically best friends now. <laughs> I would ask you not to tell anyone, but this happened in a church full of Southern Baptists. Trust me, everyone in town already knows. Crap. You could have been the first person in town that didn't know. I didn't think this through. <laughs> eh, I'm just kidding. Mostly. You know, 
You are pretty quiet. I like it. It means I get to ramble. And you look like you're listening at least, so that's nice. Yep. <laughs> also, let me know if you're starting to feel drained. I completely understand if you need time to recharge for a while. Yeah, I know that not everyone thrives on social interaction like I do. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If they do, they're an idiot. Also tell me and I'll go yell at them if you want. Oh yeah, trust me on this one. I have no problem making a scene if the occasion calls for it. And sometimes when it doesn't. I really need to learn to control my temper. But I just don't care for people acting like douchebags, you know? Well, I mean, most people don't care for it, I guess. I'm just a bit more aggressive when it comes to negotiating with douchebags. I might want to clarify, I do a lot of yelling, not like beating people up or anything. I tend to leave the punching to other people. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm a pacifist who yells a lot. Uh, I wouldn't yell at you, though. Just so you know. <laughs> yep. I'm not always so confrontational. Ah, uh, no. It's totally fine if you're not the same as me. Actually, a lot of times it would be better if I wasn't like me, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm not usually that way. Only when someone really deserves it. Like, when I'm at a restaurant, I can't even bring myself to send food back. Like, even if they sent me the totally incorrect order, I can't do it, you know? <laughs> you do know. Although, none of my friends would either. Maybe it's a southern thing? For us, we're all worried about being seen as, like, being rude around here, you know? Yep. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair for a while. Let you recharge. It was great meeting you. I would love to come visit again if you'll have me. I mean... I really hope I didn't scare you off or anything. Uh, anyway, I'll leave these cookies here with you. Oh, I'll just pick up the plate later. Gives me a convenient excuse to come back, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course I want to come back. I like talking to you. Yeah, me too. Well, you know where to find me. You know. Next door. Because I, you know, live over there. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. I think you and I, the two of us, we're going to be great friends. And I think my friends will love you when they meet you. Mm-hmm. So, if you're okay with that, then look forward to it. Mm-hmm. So, I really hope you enjoy these cookies. They probably won't even give you food poisoning. Uh, that, that was a joke, just wanted to be clear. I, I, they shouldn't give you food poisoning. I mean, I tried some cookies, so if there's anything wrong with them, I'll be sick too. Uh, hooray. Anyway, <laughs> bye for now, and I'll talk to you later. Is that okay? Good. So, I'm having to work real hard to not turn this into a 15 minute long southern goodbye. You'll probably have to get used to them living around here, so... Goodbye.
for real this time. See you later.